Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is Latican 014. In the last part, we left you after we reached the city of Dadao, and now that we've gained uh, control of Dart, uh, there are actually two Stardust locations in this place. So, one is located in the mayor's house, and the other one is located in a well. So, let's go look for that well real quick. Uh, I've never really explored uh, this area that much, so. Oh, here's where that cutscene took place, where uh, Lloyd saved a random woman, and uh, he came from that house. Uh, let's see. I can't really tell what's on that. What are they doing? I'm looking for the person who saved the life of Sister Wink. Alright, weird name, but come on, let's go in. It looks like a weapon shop. Oh, okay, it's a healer. Alright. No need for that. We need to find an item shop. We need some improvements on our items. Ah, okay. There's two axes on the top part. There must be the weapon shop right there. Oh, hello. Tut tut. <laughs> That's it? Fine. We'll let you, but only today. <clears throat> Let's go. Whoa, he drew his blade. Uh, so those bandits again. Alright, let's buy something. Let's check out what this guy's got. Silver vest. Alright, cool. Alright, and tiara. Does it work for both of them? Yes. Alright, time to sell some, uh, some crap we still got with us. Some of those leather hats and leather shoes, especially. Where's his disciple's vest? Ah. Uh, he already has his new uh, battle dress, so we don't need to worry about this disciple vest, so let's sell it. Angel robe. Revised from death with a given probability. I don't know. Maybe it could come in useful. Obviously, the scale armor is useless to us now. And we got two capes. I don't know why that counts as headgear, but okay. Alright, so we're done here. That was pretty quick. And uh, there's a strange man with spike hair in the corner. I don't want to see Pa and Ma flattering gangs anymore. Ah, so this is item shop. Okay, okay. I got it. And we only have one space open, but we can buy healing potions. We've got plenty. And, ooh, Rave Twister. Sounds good. I might come back for one of those. Just to show it off. I hope everyone's enjoying the Borderlands LP. It'll uh, come out at a pretty frequent rate. About one every day. And uh, I'm going to be working hard to try to finish uh, The Legend of Dragoon. Uh, so these are the wells. So uh, I will be working for more of these episodes than uh, the Borderlands one. Because uh, these ones are a little harder to film. So after I get everything... Uh, done with this one, then I can focus more on the console stuff. So, I'm gonna guess this is the mayor's house, mainly because it's the largest building in this area. Nope, it's the church. Alright, whatever. Maybe it's to the left. Well, there is a yellow mark here. I don't know what it means. I still haven't distinguished what these yellow and uh, green marks... Oh, this is the inn, okay. We can save here when we need to. little stairs over here. Let's go up. Seems like I can't run upstairs. Alright. And, uh, this is a pretty large house. The mayor is busy and you cannot meet him right now. I'm sorry, but please come back another time. Alright, so, uh, we found the mayor's house, but we can't really get the stardust in the top left corner, where the kitchen is. So, we're gonna have to come back later. We still need to find out some information about Lloyd, and uh, may especially about those bandits who stole uh, Dart's Dragoon Spirit slash Gem. Alright, some more bandits. Let's talk to them. Brother Gyrick is too soft. He even tried to calm a crying brat. Alright. What is Brother Gyrick thinking about? 
Okay, just two bandits getting drunk. Alright. Hey, it looks like another cafe. Oh, they say bars and bums are inseparable. I wish it were only true in books. Just the rumor about a phantom ship is scary enough. But now we have a sea dragon making a mess. I cannot put my ship out to sea. I wonder if we can buy a drink. They've been here for days. What should I do? Hmm. Maybe if we find their leader, finally extinguish his life. Ooh, the docks and more bandits. I love the sea, don't you think so? Huh? We cannot put the ship out to sea since the huge sea dragon appeared. We have to put the ship on land. Uh, okay, that sounds a little weird. I don't even see a s ship anywhere. Ooh, there's a person over here. It's not only a sea dragon that has appeared in Elisa Bay. Uh, looks like this is a dead end. Great. Alright, so there's a couple more houses that we haven't explored, so let's return back to, uh, the main area of the town. Seems like we can't get anything done. Ooh, there's a bandit. I didn't notice him before. I don't know why, but Old Bag is wandering around over there. This is Old Bag. I would like to go over there, but there's a scary person there. Um, if I could get past. Is that... Oh, that's a dog. Alright. Nothing of interest. So, this is a pretty nice looking town so far. I haven't found anything useful. Maybe I should have just headed in the first house. Oh, why? Did you go, Lynn? We're having a wedding soon. It's impossible to have a talk with the Gyrix. Who, who are you? Don't worry, we are not bandits. Really? There's something wrong, isn't there? We might be able to help... Oh, wait. We might be able to be of some help. Tell us. Okay. It all started this morning. Oh, okay. We're treated to another cutscene. When I finished my errands and came home, Lynn was gone. In his letter, he says he is going to persuade the gang to pull themselves out of Danau. I'm supposed to wait for him at home. He left a letter? I have an idea. If, he sh if I show this letter to the mayor, he might do something to help. The mayor is Lin's father. I see. Let's bring this to the mayor. We have to wait for Lin here. Oh, thank you. Alright, looks like we can finally, uh... <clears throat> head past into the mayor's house. I'm gonna go collect that stardust now so I don't forget. So, that's why these bandits are wandering around. Alright, well, we already know where the mayor is since we already explored the rest of the city. And though, like, it looks nice, it's quite a small city. So, where is the mayor? Oh, okay, I see him. You cannot meet the mayor because he is busy. I'm sorry, but please come back some other time. Can you take a look at this letter? This is... Please, come in. Mayor, a horrible thing has happened. It's about Mr. Lin. What kind of man would venture to face the Gyrick gang by himself? I didn't know Mr. Lin was that consumed with... It was my fault for not realizing it. I bet Miss Kate is very stressed. You must go. As the mayor, I don't want you to be involved in this. We are already involved. The gang took something very important away from me. Where do they come from? They are from the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, but we don't know anything about them other than that. That place is very dangerous. They say nobody can come back once they enter the valley. Butler, don't say that. Lin, Lin went there. Now, we have to gather the people of Danau and form a rescue team. 
And then what will happen to the city? The gang might take over the city. Let us do it. You were planning to go anyway, weren't you? Oh, it is encouraging to hear that warriors like you are going. Now, I can face those punks in our city with courage. Alright, so... Even though they didn't... Well, they told us to go to the place with gravity or something, but... We need to find that stardust that's around here. Come on. Maybe slowly. Okay, so it's in the dishwasher. <laughs> that's a strange place to find it. Oh, well. Looks like we're done here, finally. Oh! Hey, you Alki! Don't you dare touch my butt! Don't be silly! Why would I dare touch the butt of a kid like you? Uh-oh. Another cutscene. What did you say? I could forgive you if you'd admit that I'm too sexy to ignore and apologize. Huh? Is this kid dreaming or what? I can't stand it anymore! Oh, I know her. <laughs> Ouch! You! You don't know who we are! I know. You think you can get away with it? Let me see. I think so. <laughs> and they just run away. Darn, you'll pay for this! I won't be paying you. Doesn't she have a le better way to say goodbye? Are you the one of the Gyric gay? Do you want me to smash you too? Platinum hair. Same as Lloyd. The rest is different. Well, obviously. Are you maybe one of my groupies? Hmm. Don't seem like it, though. You guys. There's some strange group of people. What's your name? It's Dart. Mine's Meru. I'm the best dancer in Danau. We don't have time for playing with a kid. I agree. We can't waste any time if we're going to help Lin. Sorry, but we gotta get going. You said Lin. Then you guys are going to rescue Lin. How did you find out about that? Because I heard it from Kate, but people in this city are all chickens, right? So I was going to make a raid on their hideout. And those bastards gave me a hard time. I guess they didn't take me seriously because I'm alone. You know what? I'm going to go with you guys. Hey, you don't need to make such a face. Just leave her alone. Let's go. Hold on! Do you guys know where the hideout is? It's somewhere in the Valley of the Corrupt of Corrupted Gravity, isn't it? Wow, how naive! You make it sound easy, but you cannot go through such a mel of a has kind of place without a person like me who's totally knowledgeable and totally pretty. Besides, you need the permission of the king just to enter the valley, don't you know that? What are we going to do, Dart? This girl is serious. Oh well, you can come. I wouldn't mind more party members. Are you serious? We can't trust her intentions to rescue Lin. Besides, we don't know the place. We might need a guide. Right, he's completely right. Now let's go, beautiful dancer Meru. And friends form a posse for dealing with a Gyric gang. She's a little strange, but I guess we could take her along. Alright, so, uh, we are approaching the 15 minute mark of this episode, so, uh, we've accomplished a couple things. We've gotten uh, a letter about Lin, and we're supposed to go rescue him, but now we have to go consult the king and uh, get permission to go into the valley. We also scored another party member, Meru, or Meru, I don't know how you want me to pronounce it, but, um, I guess she, she is an alright party member. Her, uh, element is obviously, well... I'll just tell you now, it's it's water, and she uh, is a very fast character, so she could become useful. I don't know. I don't I haven't used her that much yet, but she is higher level than uh, pretty much everyone. So let's take Rose out and put Meru in. And uh, we're in the next part. I am going to head out toward 
seeking some permission from the king to get into that valley because we really need our dragoon spirits if we're going to be taking on Lloyd. So thank you for watching and I'll see you, uh, everyone next time.